Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me and hanging out with me as I continue once again with The Banner Saga 2. This is episode 8. And in the last episode, we once again failed at one of our mission here. Our mission objectives are training things. So let's see what we can do this time. Hopefully it goes a little bit better, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, same exact thing as we had to do before. Actually kill two people with our psychokinetic angry psychopath move. And if we can manage that, which we were close, we were really close. Uh, this time, we'll, we'll be a lot happier than we were last time. So there is that. We're going to actually back up once again. I feel like maybe that's the play. Maybe it's not. I'm not entirely certain, but we'll give it a shot. All right, let us begin. I'm going to rest here, and it looks like... Okay. Who are you? You are her. You to move over here. You did a champion. One ally is protected by Folka's champion skill. We'll move the old man over here. And our turn. The big Varl's moving over there. We'll move over this way. And our turn again. Alright, so now starting to look like we might actually be able to do something here if we're, if we're lucky and if we're careful. Hmm. I'm actually still not so certain about this. Alright, well, we're going to champion it again. We don't actually have to do that anymore, though. Which is kind of interesting if you think about it. A hurl an insult. Can't do it that far away, apparently. Okay. Let's casually come over here. We'll move in close. And we're going to attack, I guess, you? For six damage. Oh, and we double attacked her. Well, darn it. That was not supposed to happen. I, well, I was really, really hoping that we could actually... Well, we still might be able to do something here. We'll have to see. We go for a big break in his armor. I'm gonna come over here to this guy, and maybe we can try it with you. Still not quite down just yet. She's gonna take another smack upside the face. It is not going to be pleasant. Hmm. Well, we're going to hope that we can actually kill this guy and not hit our own person. Oh, well, we did some damage there. That's actually not that bad. So she's now at two. Hmm. All right, what we need to do now is get away from this spot. And then we really, really, really needed this not to go the way it's going. But we do still have some opportunity here to make things work. Alright, what can we do to you? Yeah, I guess we're going to go this route. It's chipping away at him a little bit more. Another shot to our backside. Ooh, that hurt us actually quite a bit more than I was hoping it would. Alright, and we now don't have enough damage to kill anyone. Yay, because of bad choices and things. The attack is real, the damage is slight, but we're still hanging in there. Alright, can we do this, folks? 
Do we have what it takes? Alright, we did three damage there. You got shield slap there. Hmm. What about you? Ah, oh, we do too much damage on either one of these. Well, I guess we're gonna break through this and we're gonna hope for the best on this. We have a better than not chance of succeeding here. Alright, we're going for broke. Here it goes. And bam, we did it. We're heroes, we're victorious. And success. My renown grows. Frenzy and champion. And how much how much do we get? How much do we get? How much do we get? <laughs> Ooh, a pretty sizable chunk of renown. That'll give us another level up or so. And possibly even some more food. Probably just leveling up, though. There's no merchants right now that I can tell, so that's fine. Alright, so let's do uh, the old uh, level a level up -itude. I think we're going to level up Oli. I kind of want to level up him and him and him. I want everybody leveled up, to be honest, but I'm going to start with you. We will promote you. Yes. Promoted for seven. What we're going to do with you, since you are sort of ranged, is I'm going to go with this and this. And we're going to be able to get through a little bit more of his armor and use a little bit more willpower, which is going to be nice. All right. I'm going to confirm this. And what is this thing that we have here? Three will on rest, one armor on rest, and one will, plus one willpower overall. Okay. Not too bad. Alright, we're going to go back to heroes here. And I feel like he could definitely use the rank up, so we're going to go and promote him. It's going to be expensive, but you know what? That's cool. The Berserker whips himself into a fury, terrifying nearby enemies and sending them fleeing in disarray. Affected enemies are so shaken they suffer a penalty to their defense for one turn. The Berserker also counterattacks any blows from enemies brave enough to strike at him. That's actually pretty cool. And that's his only ability, so I will go with it, since I don't really have any other choices. And what we're going to do now is increase this, and increase this. And we'll confirm it. And it looks like he's got another promotion already ready to go, but uh, sadly we can't... Well, that's right, it's all based off of how many kills you have. I forgot that's how that worked. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still relearning a lot of the stuff that, um, well, the game had before, so you'll have to forgive me if I make any kind of foolish mistakes. All right, there we are. So he has that. Everybody has some sort of item and is looking a little bit better. We can get on with our journey. Let us leave this place. And let's see what's next. Uh... I have my doubts that it's going to be good. Very few good things happen in the Banner Saga, folks. Around to hear you yelling. What? A harsh voice reaches around... Or, sorry. Harsh, a harsh voice reaches your ears, followed by the laughter of several others. Your abrupt halt alerts Folka, who immediately signals the ravens to fan out and draw their weapons. Around to hear you yelling. That's, that's very odd. Um, investigate. Over the next rise, a group of ten haggard fighters and a few varls surround a half-dozen peasants and a broken wagon. A woman spots you and shouts, Help us! But a punch to the stomach drops her to the snow. The fighters turn, ready to fight. Give us what's in the wagon. Charge! We're not interested in anything here. Give us what's in the wagon. Ha! One man says, We're going to eat what's in the wagon when we're finished with these folks. We're starving. Then you'll die hungry. Charge! The man's confidence melts away, and he and all of his fighters <laughs> flee from your assault. You give chase for a time, but soon return to the wagon and the peasants. Thank you, the woman who was punched earlier says. I'm Sefa. I know you don't want us around, but if you're heading toward Bindal, we'll follow your path. Fine, but your food is ours. Payment for saving you, you say. The woman nods her understanding, but to your surprise, the wagon is nearly empty. We'll keep our distance. Sefa says, but we'll be behind you. You grunt and walk off. Well, we got one supply out of that. 
Eh, not ideal, but I mean, we're looking good. We have 12 days of supplies. We're well rested. A couple of Raven scouts take off to check uh, take off to check out the clusters of tents ahead. Refugees from Orm's Dollar. One of them says upon returning, they've got a sizable camp and seem disciplined. They know we're here, the scout adds. No sense in trying to avoid them. You take the lead and approach the refugees. All right, here we go. A hooded man with a red spear greets you. My name's Back. This is Lofen. You're Bulwark of the Ravens. And is this your wife? You are confused as much by his question as by the fact that no one is with the man. Who is Lofen? No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Who's Lofen? <laughs> Who's Lofen? Varl, don't have wives. Uh, what do you want, Back? Uh, who... Varl don't have wives. The man gets a distant look in his eye. That's too bad. A wife can make you twice the man you were on your own. Well, he's never been a man. A bear at times, but mostly he's Varl. And I'm Fulka. Nice to meet you, Fulka. I'll get to my point. I'm leading this large group of trained fighters and tradesmen to Orm's Dollar. We're looking for a new home. We've done what it takes to survive out here, but they're starting to lose faith in me. You want us to reinforce your control? No, I want you to take over, lead us someplace we can live. Lofen and I weren't meant for keeping others alive. Uh, not interested. What do I get in return? We're heading past Bindal, but we'll take you there. Uh, what do I get in return? For one, we won't kill you. Back smiles, but there's no humor in his eyes. We'll share the food we've collected and fight alongside you should there be a need. He stops and confers with his spear. Oh, his spear is Lofen. Spoiling you, Lofen is. We'll even spread the word of how great the ravens are. Well, it's not really worth my time, but we'll take you as far as a Bindal. Bach kisses the metal of his spear and smiles. You have my thanks. Oh, Lofen thanks you as well. All right, we just got 83 clansmen. We're a proper uh, caravan now. Oh, wow. We just got a whole bunch of supplies. And then we ate them and morale declined. Uh, the unyielding snowfall is proving too much for the humans and now who now vainly attempt to follow your large footprints. In truth, the sky and your surroundings lack enough contrast to know where you're going, and it's cold. T -t -t Trees over here, Fulka manages to say, motioning with her spear. The foliage uh, blocks some of the wind, but does nothing for visibility. With no other option, you burrow into the snow, cloaked in your bear fur. Uh, okay. Burke! Wake up, you damn bear! You're being robbed! You roar and shake off the foot of snow covering you, the unclear dream still vivid in your mind. Bach uses a spear Lofen to point east. Those clansmen there you saved, they killed your guards and they're taking everything. Fulka is by your side in seconds, followed by the spearmen. You sprint along the snowy path to the stolen supplies, straight into an ambush by the bandits originally harassing the clansmen. Seva turns and smirks. Huh. Well, we've been had, I suppose. But so have they. I am... Stealing from the ravens? You must have a death wish. Okay, well, let's see how this plays out. Who do we have available right now? Is it literally two generic spearmen? Huh. So it looks like we have two generic spearmen and a whole bunch of other nasty guys. Well, we have some random people. It looks like they're all going to die, though. This does not look like a fight we can easily win. Who's this guy? A backbiter veteran? And then that's Sefa. Alright, well. Well, it looks like Bulwark has some stuff to do, doesn't it? Or doesn't he, I should say. Guess we'll move over a bit. 
We'll end our turn. Just gonna take a shot at some of our peeps. Gotta say, I'm not a fan, but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna spear this person in the face. They are not gonna have an enjoyable experience. Alright, we have a Thrasher veteran who's just gonna beat the living crap out of our one guy there. He's just like, I got a shield, I don't know what's happening, I'm scared, please don't hurt me. We'll move over here, and we're gonna go for, oh, the pig sticker, what is that? Uh, 20% to crit adjacent allies, add percentage. Um, oh, that's interesting. That is actually pretty cool, but uh, not right now. Right now, we want to go for the murder death kill sticker. See, I hate to kill people with uh, like stupid units because it doesn't help us any. I'm gonna attack this thing. I'm gonna blow I'm gonna break the barrel. All right, whose turn is it? It's uh, another spearman's turn. All right, we're gonna get right up in your face, and we're gonna go for a little bit more damage there. There we go. Hit our archer. You don't know what all she's been through. You don't seem to have much in the way of ability. You have no abilities at all. Alright, well, that being said, I suppose we'll just have to break through your shield a little bit there, friend. Get wrecked. Alright, he's pretty... Well, I figured he'd pretty much be done, but it looks like our archer is going to take the brunt of this. Okay, we're gonna move up. She's pretty much done already. So let's see if we can't get at least some reduction in armor out of her. I mean, that's kind of the best hope we have right now. Alright, it is your time to shine. Let's get on up in there and, well, get a kill here. Easy, easy kill. Bam. And we broke another barrel. I don't know if we're losing supplies or not. Man, I was hoping Sefa was going to be cool, but she definitely is not cool. Most assuredly uncool. Alright, we're going to move over here. I'm going to take another attack, and with one willpower extra, take you out. Some more renown going our way. Um, hmm. Seven. Okay. We're gonna move here, we're gonna go for another shield breaking uh, attack here. And yep, she's definitely down. We saw that coming for quite you know, quite a ways away. That is no surprise there. Alright, gonna break through some more. You are pretty much shield free at this point. All of our random folks are just having a bad time. I apologize in advance if I accidentally murder you. Just saying. It's not my intent. Oh, good. Alright, let's see here. If we go here and we attack you, we can do some damage. Not great. Alright, who do we have left? Seven, seven, and seven. Move over here. I'll take another shot on you. I don't know how many people are actually going to lose in this, but it's not looking great. I'm going to move over here to hopefully get out of the way. And once again, blast the horn a little bit there. Break through more of your armor. And she cast a spell of doom onto us there a little bit. Hmm. Well, I guess just moving here is going to be okay. I'm going to attack you. Not quite enough to kill you, though. I'm okay with just solo attacking you for a chunk of damage. Oh, with a double swing. Handled. Alright, I'm going to move over here with her. I'm going to attack... Oh, really? We. Oh, wait, that's my guy, isn't it? That's probably my guy. Well, that's awkward. Right. 
Yep, that was definitely my guy, and that was definitely awkward. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna smack you, smack you in the back of the head. Six damage, and now you're gonna come up against Bulwark, which is not the play. He's just gonna pretty much annihilate your face. It's gonna be quite awful. I'm just letting you know right now it's gonna be bad. All right, so say goodbye to your face. There it is. Goodbye to your face. Now she gets her final attack or attempt at an attack, I guess. We'll move over here. We gotta make sure we keep track of who the enemy is and who the friends are. And here's an easy kill. There it is. Shield Maiden Renown plus five. What? Yeah. The foes lying dead would regret ever meeting us. Defeat three enemies with the Shield Maiden, like a boss. So gave us even more renown than normal. So that bam, seventeen. Killing it. Killing it, folks. Killing it. Seva's wounds are great, and she whimpers in the snow. You nod to Folka, who dispatches the bandit archer with haste. This is what this is what helping folks gets you, you roar. Grabbing all the supplies oh, sorry, grab all the supplies and bring them to the camp. You tell the ravens after hoisting a barrel on each shoulder. Sweet. Okay, well, we just got a pretty big boon when it comes to our, um, being able to, nope, that's not what I want. Being able to upgrade our folks. Where's the hero's tent over there? Sweet. Okay, well, that's odd. Our, our group is so meh. All right, well, we can go with Bulwark again, give him even a larger advantage, but I feel like that's probably not the best move. Um, I kind of want to get him further up the ranks, but I feel like having lower level people probably isn't a great plan overall, so we're going to continue to increase some of these guys as well. Alright, we get two points. We're going to go with one more to this. I really like the chain skill, by the way, guys. If you hadn't noticed, it's kind of my go-to move, like, every time, so just be aware that it's probably going to continue to be that way. All right, Bercy, another war Warhawk. Let's see if we can't get you a little bit more promoted, friend. Get you all situated and ready to do some murder. Now, we can do bonus things here if we really wanted to, but I feel like we need a little bit more willpower and probably a little bit more oomph. I feel like I'm probably going to max all these stats first, and then I'm going to come back and start doing these things, which may be 100% the wrong plan. I don't know. I'm learning as we go, folks. Krumer, sure, the war leader. He's uh, he's a pretty pretty intense guy. We can promote him as well. Sure, why not? Continue. Ooh, we get to improve one of our abilities too. Nice. Confirm. And that puts him to level 5. We'll increase that. And I'm going to increase this as well. Get him to hit a little bit harder. Confirm. We could promote him one step further, but I don't think that's the play. And finally, Spar, while I don't use him very often, uh, I'm, rem I'm, I'm hesitant to actually use him at all, but we'll promote him as well, I suppose. Confirm. And we're going to go with one point here, one point there. He's almost maxed out on all his stats, too, except for willpower, so... Eh, it is what it is. Uh, it's probably a, a pretty good idea to have actually upgraded one of these two. You know, hindsight being what it is, but eh, I didn't quite do it, so it's fine. Alright, so what are we looking at? 10, 14, 8, 2, and 2. We got 11, 15, 6, 3, and 4. Looks like Krumer is actually quite a bit more powerful, but again, he's a war leader as opposed to a war hawk. Whereas this guy's a war hawk. 10, 14, 5, 2, and 2. 10, 14, 8, 2, and 2. So definitely better on uh, sit, what is it? Sigbjorn's uh, dealy. Anyway, folks, it's the perfect time, the perfect place, the... Well, it's where I'm breaking off the episode. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with it. I will be back tomorrow with more of the Banner Saga 2. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>